Chances are, if you've been watching YouTube for a while and you're interested in game dev, you've seen this guy. This is Thomas Brush, he's a great indie game developer and recently he started working on his brand new game, Father. For the first time, he's working with 3D and he needed some help with the codebase and guess who he contracted out to help him. So for the past two months, I've been working continuously with Thomas to bring all the systems to completion. There were a lot of systems, for example, player controllers, dialogue systems, saving and loading systems, NPCs, guns, anything that you can think of that could be in an FPS pack, it's there. But you know my favorite part about this guys, not only is Thomas Brush going to use the asset but you guys can as well. Around September we're going to be releasing the asset on the asset store so you guys can pick it up and make that dream FPS game that you've always wanted to make. You're probably asking yourself how an 18 year old with no college degree or game dev experience managed to get this role and I have two words for you, portfolio projects. That's actually what got me over the line when it came to this contract because Thomas liked the way that I coded and the way that I explained my code in some of the tutorials that I've written. And because of that, he picked me over another equally skilled candidate. Up first, we have the beautiful player controller that can handle pretty much any terrain. Then we have the guns, lots and lots of guns, and especially my favorite one, the gravity gun and coming in close second, this epic rocket launcher. We can't forget about the foundation of the game which is the saving and loading system which can take any component and save and load its parameters. And of course, this was so easy that I got it first try. There's also this pretty cool dialogue system which can be edited through Unity or through a text editor. And of course, you can't have an FPS game without your enemies. There are three enemy types, the Walker, the Run and Gunner, and the Drone. I want to make it very clear that Thomas paid me very, very fairly for the work that I did. Uh, actually, when I gave him the quote, I didn't even expect him to take it seriously, considering my age, my experience, and just general lack of knowledge when it comes to game development. So after working on this asset pack for a while, it's really inspired me to create more YouTube videos. And uh, this could be because of Thomas's philosophy around content creation. And it's also because I couldn't find tutorials for half of the things that I was trying to create for this asset pack. Uh, for example, the dialogue system. You shouldn't have to pay $60 for a dialogue system that you're only going to use once. You should know how to create that for your specific use case. That's definitely something that I'm going to be tackling over the next couple of months. But overall, it's been super fun working on this project. I've learned a lot and it's also given me a lot of inspiration on where I want to go next. I already have a list of the tutorials that I want to publish to the YouTube channel and also I'm going to be releasing a Udemy course on how to build the perfect player controller for your game. It is the most essential part of the game and you need to have control over it from start to finish. Also guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for me and also head over to Thomas's channel and leave him a subscribe. He's live streaming the development of Father every day and it's super fun to join in. Make sure to leave a comment on what you think about these types of videos and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.